You know, we've spoken many times. There's sort of Fox News, and then there's Newsmax, and then it's OAN, RSBN, and then <laughs> Flashpoint, right? Uh, well, guess who's joining us on the show today? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our dear friend, Gene. Gene, the Jesus machine, is with us today. Hey, what's happening, Gene? Well, you're frozen in time. You won't have anything to say yet. I'm sorry about that. Um, but, uh, Gene, you've given us a hype train already. And uh, congratulations on having a seven head. Um, also, um, I, I'm excited. I don't know where you are, but clearly you've got two mics set up. God knows, the uh, literally, uh, the guests you have on today are going to be magnificent. We're going to learn so much, um, not the least of which is, of course, uh, Marjorie Trailer Green or Marjorie Trader Green. Pick your, uh, pick your pipe bomb. And, and then, of course, uh, the former guy himself joins Gene Gene, the Jesus machine, later in the broadcast. So um, here he is, in case you... you know, this has been a big week here for Flashpoint, here at Turning Point USA. Amer oh, okay, so they're at Turning Point USA, the place that just kicked out, uh, like, Nick Fuentes a little bit ago. And then, uh, was it Parler or Getter? One of the... Par par parlor? I don't give a shit. Um, one of them just kicked off Nick Puentes for a violation of the terms of service, and everybody was like, what the hell? I thought it was free speech, Uber, all this. What in the world? And then Trump comes out and says he's got a, a vaccine and a booster. They're, they're, they're in a tailspin. It's a joy to watch these folks. Um, yes, satire. That's right. Um, all right, so here's, this is uh, Gene Gene, the Jesus machine. He's a, I want to see... Um, who his first guest is. No idea. Erica Fest, Charlie Kirk. Great to be here. Oh, Charlie Kirk. All right. So they couldn't find anybody with their eyes closer together. Thank you so Charlie, much. Thanks. Listen, this has been a hu huge, Thank huge. You. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's it, what's best about it is this two shot. It's magnificent. The golden microphones don't seem at all antithetical to the thoughts and ideas of Christianity at all. Man, Thank you. Huge event. We've been very happy. Yeah, so tell me what's the highlights of this week for you. Oh, it's been incredible. We have so many amazing speakers. The energy, the enthusiasm has just been off the charts. And I got to tell you, seeing so many young people. Is there a chart? Was there a chart? Um, across the country has been amazing. Seeing so many pastors. From Back to where we were. Just a, a momentary, momentary uh, Ohio. I think Jim Jordan is out on the lawn sawing through the internet cable. But also the parents that are coming, that are learning how to... All right, this is getting gross. ...or educate their kids, to learn how to homeschool, to learn... How to learn how to homeschool. If you have to learn how to homeschool, should you be teaching anyone else anything? Challenge their school... Now, I'm a little confused about this homeschooling thing. I have a couple of questions. One, does it have to be your home? Or can you... If, like, let's just say... You've been squatting on your cousin's couch with your entire family for a year. Also, um, what if it doesn't feel like a home? You know what I mean? Our house is a lot of anger, a lot of, lot of yelling, a lot of back and forth. So it really feels like a house, be it ever so humble. And I just, it's a normal question. And also to learn American history and to learn about their constitutional rights and their freedoms. Uh, our rights and our freedoms are under attack right now. No, they're not. And no. at Turning Point USA, we're on. There's no Twitch stream? Okay, we'll see if they... I should be... Yeah, I'm back on Twitch. Yeah, we're back up. We're back up on there. Thank you so much. Sorry for your patience, everyone. Thank you for subscribing as well. I love you guys. Uh, all right, here we go. Back of the thing. Now I'm all touchy about everything. You know how I get. Once stuff technologically starts to teeter... Then I get on edge, and then it's a whole other show. Honored uh, to be able to offer a platform, a venue, and a convening place where people can feel as if uh, they're accepted. They're Hold on, I this, I, I sorry guys, this is this. There's got to be a better way. Uh, let's see, I gotta something that makes me feel a little bit more like. Um, where's something a little more. Uh, Excuse me one second, I'll find some, uh, no, no, maybe this one. No, that probably, let's see, what's a little more like, yeah, this is a little more Nick Fuentes, no? Let's see, which, perhaps this, no, maybe this, no, that's not it. How about this, no, not that, no. Let's see, looking for Nick Fuentes. There he is, no, that's not him. There you go, hi, eh, no, this is Nick, no. This is Nick Fuentes. Hi. 
close. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, now I look like Nick Fuentes a little bit. No, I don't. How about this one? Nope. He's beyond mockery with you know, this better. This looks like Nick Fuentes to me. It's a good score. That's solid. No, go with this. The important thing is uh, that people are here learning how to Dude, stop messing around and just let the boy talk. Let him say what he wants to. That is just not fair. Don't let this. He's got a lot to say and, and, none, and none of the time needed to say it. You rancid bastard. Just let him talk. It's not right. Tell him, Nick. Nick, say something. Welcome. Yeah. And also where they can learn. You know, one thing, and we're going to talk to Erica later in the program about. Oh, I like Erica. She's nice. She's got a, uh, she's got, uh, well, I don't, I don't want to speak ill of her. Uh, turning point might be a different Erica with a K or something, which is gross. Faith. Yes. Uh, so tpfaith.com. Tpfaith. T toilet paper faith.com. You know what I mean? Like, that's, what do you do? Just close your eyes and wipe your ass and hope for the best. Dot com. All right. So many people don't know. They, they hear about your events, Turning Point USA. They, they hear t about TP USA and they think you're going to toilet paper the whole country like it's a tree on Halloween. I mean, you got church services. Yes, going sir. On that's here. right. You know, this is not. Yeah, it's a, it's a sales thing. That's exactly what it is. Anti-Christian. What's the opposite? It's exactly Christian the friendly. Opposite. We have Pastor Rob McCoy who did a worship service. Yeah. Sean Foy did a worship service. Uh, we have Jack Hibbs opening up tomorrow with a prayer and a direct right. altar call uh, and a message, a biblical message. Um, so yeah, it's a different type of event than. Uh huh. All right, let's skip ahead. I don't know who this dude is. This guy's amazing. Oh my God. This is this is like Donald Trump, the rock star. Who the hell is this dude? Wait, wait, wait. But get out of here, Charlie. We've heard your stuff before. It's a point USA. Watch the fact that the Lord birthed this movement in such a dark season uh, uh, of, of loneliness. Okay, that comb over is amazing. It's like it's like his. You know, you ever have a you ever see somebody with a comb over that they should name? If he could name that comb over, its name would be Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Does, has anyone checked on Debbie Wasserman, Wasserman Schultz to see if she's okay, if she's been shaved and left in a, in a field? ...of heartache, of lockdowns, of fear. Right. You know, uh, Well, that's your opinion. Some of us are having a great time. Side rates were exploding. Drug and alcohol use was exploding. And so whenever you bring the gospel, the good news of the gospel into that, into that context... Yeah, you mean like the world's coming to an end and only a, a a living, breathing, flawed man like Donald J. Trump can save us? That kind of gospel? It just thrives. And people that had never... Yeah. it's You know, you bring leeches into a, a, a barber shop in the Middle Ages. Step foot in a church or people that, you know, we had we had guys in cities that were about to commit suicide. They would run down to the altar and throw their drugs down. People that, you know, that... that, that and and apparently you took that as an offering like sir we don't pass the plate to later but thanks for ponying up H had never heard the the preaching of who jesus was you know get yeah. saved we had drug dealers in oh so so you've met trump chicago you know throw fanny packs of heroin on the stage i mean we yeah guys you can't do that you can't if you're being followed by the police you can't just throw them on the stage and go that's not mine that's his I mean, maybe were they delivering, perhaps? We had so many wild testimonies, and then we baptized a ton of people, you know? The yeah. baptismal thing was a huge part of what we did huge. as well. We now, ended every plan, service that way. Did you think you were going to do that from the beginning, or did that just sort of come up and we need to get these you people know, baptized? You know, it actually started in New York City. We were in Washington Square Park, and this guy, uh, this Guatemalan uh, 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 guy was walking through the park, was, was depressed, was going to go kill himself. Yeah, you know, Guatemalans. He heard the music, he came, he heard he heard me speak, he came down the altar, give his life to Jesus, and then he was like, and he looked at me and he was like, well, now I need to get baptized. That's what we do next, right? Right. And I was like, right, okay. <laughs> and then I looked behind me and the fountains in Washington Square Park were yeah. on. And so I said, let's just do it in the fountain. Yeah. And so he was the...
He's like, no, no, thank you. I just want to be baptized. First person we ever wow. baptized. And from that moment on, we just knew, you know what? We're going to have to do this ready. every city. You've kind of. Yes, that, that's how baptism was invented by this dude and his church. And involve you become kind of an icon for people to stand up because of what you've done going across America. People are, they see what you did in the midst of COVID and your know, rules and not gathering and cordoning off parts of the parks where you can't get to. You know, we've seen all kinds of crazy news stories. Uh, because they, you guys keep wanting to wash people in the park. Oh, but now, what do you, what's happening now? Yeah, dude, it, there, there's zoning laws against wet t-shirt contests, too. I'm sure those people feel put out. Oh, for Sean Foy, what's happening yeah. now with this movement that you really birthed? Well, I feel like, you know... I feel like we, we you know, we didn't, we didn't always birth uh, parts of the movement. A lot of times we had to wait till we could boil some water from a fountain. Well, uh, I, I really believe that we have to move into a season of, of revival where... Oh, my God. All right. Uh, again, sales pitch, sales pitch, sales pitch, flashpoint sales pitch.